The doorbell rings. Surprise! It's the postman with a package for you. But what is in it? There are so many online shops. With one click you can literally order anything for someone else or for yourself. But even if you order it yourself, you still might not know what is really in it. Does the postman know? Does the shipment company know? Does the online retail company know? Who knows? Maybe no one knows. But I'm sure Ms. Go Haken from the Norwegian Environment Agency can provide some insights. Gro, great to have you with us today. Thank you so much. It's nice to come here and tell something about selling chemicals on the internet from an enforcement point of view. Norway is part of the forum. They were leading a uh, project from the forum on selling chemicals on the internet. Can you tell us something about this project and the results? Yes, the results, uh, the aim of the project was to check whether the advertisements on uh, chemicals on the internet was in compliance with the, the REACH and uh, the CLP regulations. Uh, it's like uh, an advertisement uh, should be, um, uh, should tell you about the hazards on the label of the chemical and you should have the same information when you buy a chemical on the internet. So 15 countries, uh, European countries, um, performed uh, 1,300 uh, checks and it was 82% of the checked advertisements uh, with non-compliance. Many of the big online retailers like AliExpress and Amazon, they offer a platform for very many different sellers of things, among them chemical products. The chemicals are uh, quite often provided to third-party resellers by uh, big chemical companies with the right labeling, COP, JTS, uh, REACH, all compliant. But then they are repackaged or they're used in potentially dangerous products by those third parties without the right labeling and then shipped to unaware customers. For the online platforms, it's very difficult then to get all the right information from the suppliers and then process it to the uh, right consumers, especially when the third parties are millions of small enterprises. What are your thoughts about that? I can understand it's very challenging for the e-commercial companies to, um, um, to, with regards to this question, but uh, I think it's very important to know who is responsible for placing this uh, chemical on the market. And in, um, in the REACH and the CLP legislations, it's the distributor or the um, uh, importer of the chemical that is responsible for labeling and packaging the, the chemical on the right way, in the right way. So the, the e-commerce uh, platforms need to have a good uh, internal control, as we say, like routines that they check and monitor how the chemicals are labeled and packaged. Nowadays, the online retailers, they are sourcing products from all around the globe. But they are also selling it all around the globe. And in each country and region, you have different legislation they need to uh, comply to. Um, how can they make sure that they do this? The companies need uh, to have knowledge. As I said before, it's the distributor or the importer that have the that have the that they need to have the um, uh, chemicals in compliance with the regula regulations, and um, um, they need to know about uh, the legislations in the destination countries. But as I said before, the, the e-commercial uh, companies they need also to know what uh, what looking uh, what should I look for. So, and they need good um, control routines to, to ensure that, they, um, uh, that the, the products sold on, in the online platforms uh, will comply with the uh, legislation in the destination country. Amazon recently published that they would uh, make a kind of restricted substance list. What are your views on this? What Amazon has done is a, a very good step forward. I think um, to avoid these 54 uh, uh, substances uh, in their own brand is um, it's a very good uh, first step. But um, from an enforcement point of view, I think uh, like this globe, uh, like Amazon, is a global platform, and I think they have to uh, look uh, even more globally, not only their own brands uh, for the U.S. market, but also uh, for the 
the worldwide market. Okay. Uh, do you have some final recommendations for retailers and industry? I think I would like to say that, uh, that selling chemicals on the internet, uh, it's the same rules as for selling the chemicals in a store. It's not uh, any difference. So uh, when you provide a chemical on an internet platform, uh, you have to um, take good actions uh, to be sure that the chemical is uh, in compliance with the legislation. Thank you for this interview. We have learned that the actual content of your online order can be a real surprise for the whole supply chain involved. Without knowing, they might deliver a poisonous package on your doorstep. Something we need to avoid. And as a last resort, if something happens, it's time to call an emergency number. Fortunately, the postman always rings twice. <laughs>